um, this makes my third video blog, and so far, so good, I guess, and today I'm going to talk about gay marriage, and mainly about California and Proposition 8, and a few campaigns that's going, working against Proposition 8, and, but before I go through all that, I want to actually talk about piercing. I was just, but the only piercing that I have is my tongue piercing. I want many more. I love them. I think they're attractive. And it looks like an adrenaline rush getting to this. Oh god, it looks like a needle in me. And so, anyways, do you guys like tattoos and piercings? Because personally, I think they're hot and I love them. And I think that when other guys have them, it's just like, you know, you just see a guy with tattoos and you see a guy without tattoos. It's like, oh, you got tattoos? You're going over that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, I'm thinking about getting my nose and my Monroe. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Think I can pull it off? I don't know. But, okay, back to what I was originally talking to. As many people know, California legalized marriage June 16th of 2008. And then I think it was November, no, November 5th that they took the rights away due to Proposition 8, which was an amendment to the state constitution that banned gay marriage. First off, love is love. And, you know, they say that you can't mix, like, God and government together, but then how does our government allow all of this to, like, occur? Why is gay marriage not legal everywhere? Our government should stand beside us all, and they're kind of failing us there. I mean, I'm, I'm a proud American, don't get me wrong, and I've... I don't know, I think a lot of stuff's changed over time, and that we're not as proud as what we used to be, because we kind of just let a bunch of people take over, and, like, I don't know, I think that, I don't know, I don't, government's just not took it serious as what it used to be, now it's just like, oh, well, this is a big topic, let's talk about that, oh, let's see, it's kind of all about the public eye anymore, in my opinion, but love is love, and you know, it's, I don't get it, I just don't get it, how could people be so against it, even if you are, let's say, a big Christian person, when you see a gay person, and you see them with a lover, it's just like, you're not supposed to judge them, isn't that what Christian is about, like, you don't judge people, and so, I mean, I don't even see why they fight it, I don't see it, because, you know, that's left up to them, it's their own personal beliefs and thoughts, and I don't know, it just like gets me so heated, it's just like everyone else is allowed to get married, and you know, in New York where I live, it, the state actually supports gay marriage, it doesn't like, you can't get married in New York state, but they, if you're already married from another state, they like give you the same rights as a married couple. Hopefully that changes soon, and hopefully the wonderful state of New York legalizes it. I don't get why they haven't yet. We're a little bit behind. But Proposition 8. It sucks. Fuck you, Proposition 8. And eventually you're going to be gone because there's campaigns now that's working against Proposition 8. Such The big one that's known today is No Hate Campaign, and you should definitely check that out. It's a silent protest against Proposition 8. And basically, it's the ones where the people have got the painting on their face that says no hate and the tape over their mouth. Silent protest. And check that out at nohatecampaign.com, and I'll add a little blooper thingy on here, and you can click that and go to their webpage as well. And I want you guys to leave me all kinds of comments about what you think about gay marriage, even if you're, even if you're against it. You know, comment me and say, hey, I, this is why I don't agree with it. Because right now, I, I can't think of any practical reason that it shouldn't be legal. Love is love, and that's government and whatever. We all know the whole shit behind it, but whatever. And um, just leave me lots of comments. Check out No Hate Campaign. And everyone, follow me on Twitter. That's twitter.com backslash Bobby Inman. Or you can add me to my MySpace or Facebook, and it's basically bobby.inman after the back. And, um, you all have an awesome day. It's a short blog, but fuck everyone who's against gay marriage and love. Okay.